here we have it. I want to demo it right now. It's going to be the VGA 4x4 UTP matrix switch. Um, this is the TNT part number. It's the R02T MTX C5E 404. So basically, it's four VGA in. And then you have four outputs, four local and four extended. So on this video, I'm going to do it in two parts. The first part I'm going to do is the local ports. And then the next part I'm going to do later is going to be the extended ports. So right here, you notice my connection right here. So this is the front side, the front panel. And on the back panel, you have noticed the ports. Now, these four right here are the inputs. These four are the local outputs. Over here, you will have the UTP ports, but I'll do that. I'll show that later. And this also has R232 and IR, which I'll also demo at the end, in a, in a separately. So, let me first. So I already have connected to four monitors here. You see four monitors. And then for computers, I have four computers connected also. You probably won't see that on the screen because they're on the floor, some, some on the floor. So you plug in power. So plug in power. And here you see all, video, all monitors lights up. This one takes a little longer. But all monitors light up. And you see coming out. Now I have right now set at 1080, 1920 by 1080. That's because most of these monitors the max resolution is 1980 by 1020, 1920 by 1080. That's why I said that. But this unit will go up to 1920 by 1200, or it also de or depends on the depends on the res receivers if you do have receivers too. So here you go. Now these also these this unit also has audio, which I have connected everything to audio. Every monitor right now it has a, a speak PC speakers connected to it, or it's built-in speakers, and each computer has audio coming out. So let me play an audio file real quick. So here you can hear audio from each port. So let me mute this real quick. Okay, so. Um, let me do the show you right now, real quick. So. So I am, I only plug in one. Okay, audio. Press on one port. Unplug that one. Plug it into audio two. Your sound from there too. Now plug into output three. Sound local three also. And then local four. So here, you know, you can hear all four ports have audio, so you put all that back in. So okay, so this is output A, input A, and each output has local output has audio. So now let me switch it to the second second one. So this is now switching to output input B, and here you see input B come up, and again you can play audio file, see if there's audio coming from each one. It does, it's pretty small, but. So here, audio is pretty small for this output, but you can also hear it. That's a, that's a setting probably, that's the setting also. It's just the audio of this one. Yeah. Check the volume control, but here you see you hear audio coming out from this input also. So. Now let me go to a different one. So that's input B. Now for C. Also hit play. So I can hear. This one also has inputs, audio outputs. Let me try to turn. So these also have sound. Okay. Now, last one, input D.
So here you see, you hear, you hear also input D has sound. So I already demoed from, for each output, I did a switch to each different input, and they all have sound coming out. So now that's basically, I just showed you right now, it's like a splitter kind of way. Now for the switching, matrix switching, I can do, now I'm gonna do different combinations. So, I'm gonna do a quick, I'm gonna hit a quick reset here. I have to reset. Everything goes back to, I'll put the default, which is input A for each. Now I'm just doing a good quick switching. So I'm gonna switch around these inputs. So here you see, I have different inputs on each monitor. So that's what basically the matrix switch is. And you probably, not, you can't, probably can't hear it well. But each audio, each input, each monitor right now, with a different audio play, has different sound coming out from the speakers. That's gonna be great. So again, I'm gonna do some other switches. I'm gonna do some random switch right now. So, here I already showed you some right now. From the input to the local ports, I could do any matrix switching right now, and they all video will all come out correctly with whatever resolution you set. And audio too will also come out from each port. So earlier I did the, I did the local inputs, local ports for these, these local ports. Now I'm gonna change it out to do the extended ports, the e ECP ports. Now for these, on each monitor, I have attached a receiver unit. As you can see, like, the sample receiver unit here. These are our R02 TEXT C5E358 RMTs. These are the standard remotes. And I'm gonna be using skew free cables for these. Now each one has a remote, and I put UTP uh, skew free cables. Now I have a set mix between a thousand feet and five hundred feet, so it depends on it depends the length depends on what your receiver you're using and resolution wise. So I'm just gonna connect everything on right now. I am not sure which is gonna be which, so bear with me on that. I'll try to match it up to one, two, three, four, line it up. So here, you see I plugged everything in right here, and I, uh, as you see right now, every, all video comes up. Just let me do a quick e uh, EQ adjustment, just in case. Just to make sure that everything looks fine. I need to take it back. Uh, I'm using. Okay, so here, okay, check that right now. So, I am using two skew free cables here and these two monitors, input, output one and output two. And output three and output four, I'm just using regular Cat 5B cables. But, like I said again, they're mixed between 1,000 feet and 500 feet. So, here you see the first one, all video comes up. I reset the unit already, but then you reset it again. So everything goes back to default. So here's the reset. Make sure everything is plugged back in. So here, I reset everything, everything comes up. So let me play audio again to make sure audio, there's audio. So it seems like everything has audio. You go output, input B. Also comes up, C, wait, let's see that there's audio for each one, 
and that's a D. So here, I did a mix and match, and everything came back up. All the audio, came, all audio video came up. So it seems like it will work. Now, you mean now? That's the, now. Let's try the mix the matrix function. You just do a like, random mix of video. So using random mixes. Let's see if it works. And this one, I just adjust the audio, adjust the video. This is using this version. So here, video will come up. Now, new screen from auto switching. So let's try this. Let's see all different. So here, just do some random mixing combinations, and it seems like everything does work. So this is basically just the extended version, the extended ports on the units on the this four x four. Did we also add another another way of changing the the switching the ports? So we have this control for IR, and you see the IR sensor right here. So basically, what I'm gonna do is change some outputs on these. So the buttons on here, the 1 through 4, correlate to the outputs. If you hit the button 1, you know it's output 1 changes. And you can just hit, keep hitting 1 to cycle through it. Same with 2, you cycle through it. 3, same thing. And 4. As you can see, using the, you have also you have an IR con remote control that can be used to control the whatever output you want. Okay, so now I'm going to do a demo of the, the last thing I'm going to show you right now. It's going to be the RS-232 control. So I, this come also comes with the RS-232 control, so I'm going to demo that right now. So, first things first, here's my computer. Here's the computer screen. I, I'm doing a direct connect right now. Just show you real quick. So, I have yet to use the terminal software, and my terminal software I'm using is TerraTerm. And the, the setting up is like this. So for serial port, you select the whatever com it is, and then for baud rate, you select 9600. Okay, and then that's that. So now from here, let me you hit OK, and then on terminal window you press, you select receive to LF and local echo. Check. That's just for us to do. So, okay, now. I am going now. I'm connect the so here you see right here. On the right side, there's a port right there. That is the for the serial port. So on the right part, you see a serial a RS-232 port, and that's just one. That's what I'm using to connect to my computer. So I connect it right there, the cable here, and it's connected to the computer. That's what I see right here. So let me hit now hit reset, real quick. And when I hit reset, it just basically refreshes, and here you see it shows up. The control software says VGA matrix UTP 4x4 UTP. Compile time, whatever, all that. So it's very into, into commands. So you start doing this right now. So here you notice down here, everything is on input, output is on A. Okay? So let me do the command real quick. So we have a few commands. Let's do a switching command first. So I'm gonna do SW1. We see output one. I am gonna change to input D. Enter. And you notice down here the screen changes. Okay, take that back. D is the computer, so I, I took it off. So SW1 C. So I change this to C. And this computer monitor comes up with whatever is on input C. So you know down here, SW1C, basically output 1C. Now let's do it again. Let's do output 2. Right now output 2 is on A, so I'm going to do SW2, space, let's change it to B. Enter. This one changed to B. Screen changes to input B, whatever is on input B. Now let's do 
I still be. I'll put. Okay, three right now. I have nothing on. That's it. I'll put four. So I said before. Let's change also to B. And it works. Now, I could change output three too, but output three, I now I disconnected because I'm plugging. I have it plugged into disks. I have this monitor plugged directly to this computer, so output three right now is not connected to anything. But I still can switch it here. So output three, let's change it to D. It won't, you won't see a change because nothing, the monitor is not connected, but down here it changes. So that's the three commands. We have the SW switch, SW output number, space, input letter. That's what changes the, out, the input and outputs. Okay, next command we have is status. So that's STE. And here you see where I do STE. You see the output as well as the input current state. So let's say, so I put one here, C. You see here, I put one C. I put two B. You see, I put two B. And what? Um, so forth. Let me change the. Let me change something real quick right now. Let's change two to A. And S T E again. And here you see it changes numbers. So the last command we should have is power. So I hit P W D. Power down, basically it turns the unit off, so you see everything turns off. And if I hit STE, you see it says power down. Then to turn it back on, it says PWD again. And everything comes back on. So that's the commands for the R232.